and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to take a recurrence relation in Poisson distribution and then we'll take an example based on the recurrence relation. Okay, so let us start with this. So in the recurrence relation, we should start with let x be a discrete random variable having having poison distribution having poison distribution with with probability function with probability function what is the probability function here in the dis poison distribution f of x is equal to e to the power minus lambda into lambda power r sorry lambda power x upon x factorial okay where lambda is a parameter okay now we have to deduce a recurrence relation for the poisson distribution so what we are going to do is we are going to write first of all poisson distribution or for the uh, so probability of x is equal to r by looking at this would be e to the power minus lambda into or you can write this one as uh, probability of x is equal to x <coughs> is nothing but or if you want you can say take some different values probability of x is equal to r is e to the power minus lambda into lambda power r upon factorial r okay this is for probability of x is equal to r next we write probability for x is equal to r plus 1 so it can be written like by looking at this e to the power minus lambda into lambda to the power r plus 1 upon r plus 1 factorial okay now we have this so you can now divide this implies probability of x is equal to r plus 1 upon probability of x is equal to r can be written as e to the power minus lambda into lambda to the r plus 1 can be written as lambda to the power r into lambda to the power 1 upon r plus 1 factorial can be written as r plus 1 into factorial r into now when you divide this this will get converted to r factorial upon e power minus lambda into lambda power r simple i have applied the property n plus 1 factorial can be written as n into sorry n plus 1 into n factorial so likewise for the r so now as you can see these values uh, get cancelled this again get cancelled with this so we remain with we remain with what lambda power 1 that is lambda upon r plus 1 okay so we have here probability of x is equal to r plus 1 upon probability of x is equal to r so that is probability of x is equal to r plus 1 is equal to lambda upon r plus 1 into probability of x is equal to r this is nothing but this is nothing but the recurrence relation this is nothing but the recurrence formula or recurrence relation in in the poisson distribution okay now we'll take one problem based on it okay so let me take a problem uh yeah so I will remove this. You just have to remember this. This is important result because sometimes a uh, question asks directly on this. So the problem says if the variance
if the variance of Poisson distribution variance of Poisson distribution is 2 is 2 find the probability for find the probability find the probability for x is equal to r is equal to 1 2 3 4 from recurrence relation from from recurrence from recurrence relation from recurrence relation of poisson distribution of of Poisson distribution. Also find also find probability of x greater than equal to 4. Okay, so what we want? We want first of all the value of the parameter which is already given the variance the variance of Poisson distribution is 2 and we know that in the Poisson distribution mean and variance are same. So you can write in Poisson distribution in Poisson distribution variance is equal to lambda and here it is given to us as 2. Okay. Therefore, variance equal to lambda. Therefore, lambda is equal to 2 over here. Simple. Now, in Poisson distribution, lambda is equal to 2. So, what you can do now? You can just write down the uh, recurrence relation first. So, you can write, we know that. So, whenever you are writing such things, ask yourself, what we know? We know that probability of x is equal to r plus 1 is equal to lambda upon r plus 1 into probability of x is equal to r. Take it. Now, what you are going to do is you have to find out the probability of x is equal to r is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. So, what you going to put here? Once you will put 0, so you will be getting x is equal to r. Then, to get 2, you will get 1. You will put 1 and put 2 to get x equal to 3 and put 3 for x is equal to 4. Okay. So, let me find it first of all. Uh, the first one. Probability of x is equal to. Okay. Say this is to be 1. For our convenience we can write. Put r is equal to 0 in 1 we get what we get probability as x is equal to 0 plus 1 is 1 is equal to lambda upon r plus 1 into probability at 0 we are putting r is equal to 0 okay now we have all these values we can substitute what is lambda 2 and this is e to the power e to the power what is it minus lambda into lambda to the power x or r upon factorial 0. Okay. So, this comes out to be, what is it? 2 e to the power minus 2. So, its value is 0 0.2706. 0 0.2706. This is probability that x is equal to r is equal to 1. Simple. Now, I hope you are uh, well aware of this, uh, what we have applied, because probability as x is equal to 0 in the Poisson distribution, probability as x is equal to x is e to the power minus lambda, lambda to the power x upon factorial x. Okay. 
So as you can see here, for x is equal to 0, e to the power minus lambda, lambda to the power 0 by x, okay? You can actually substitute here, lambda is equal to 2. So it is like this. Next, you have to find out the probability as x is equal to 2. So you can put r is equal to 1 in 1. We get, what we get? Probability at x is equal to r is 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So this is lambda upon 2 plus 1 into probability at x is equal to what is it r is 1 okay now you can substitute the values this is 2 by 3 into e to the power use this e to the power minus lambda that is 2 into lambda that is 2 power 1 upon factorial 1 so probability of x is equal to 2 comes out to be when you solve this you will be getting 0 0.2706 again 0 0.2706 okay now now let us find out the next one so i will make use of this this is 2 now i will find this 3 put r is equal to 2 in 1 probability x is equal to 2 plus 1 3 so lambda 2 plus uh, 1 so this is probability is x equal to 2 okay so this would be lambda 2 upon 3 is that r plus 1 yeah here it should be x is equal to 2 so it should be r is equal to 2 correct it's like this okay so next is uh, where it is yeah so lambda is 2, this is 3, e to the power minus 2, 2 to the power 2 upon factorial 2. Okay, so when you find this, you will be getting probability at x is equal to 3 is 0 0.1804. 0 0.1804. Okay, next we have to find out the fourth one. Put r is equal to 3 in 1, we get probability as x is equal to 4 is equal to lambda. What is lambda? Lambda is 2. So, I will write for the time being as it is. This is 3 plus 1. This is 3. So, this is uh, 2 by 4 into e to the power minus 2, 2 to the power 3 upon factorial 3. So, when you solve this, you will be getting the value to be point zero nine zero two. This is probability as x is equal to 4. So, we have found out the probability for x is equal to r is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. So, first half is over. Now, we have to find out what probability of x greater than equal to 4. Okay, and this can be done, this can be done by, second part, therefore, probability of x greater than or equal to 4 is same as 1 minus probability of x strictly less than 4. So, this is 1 minus probability at x is equal to 0 plus probability as x is equal to 1, probability as x is equal to 2 plus probability as x is equal to 3. And we have found out all these values in 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, what is probability of x is equal to 0? Probability as x is equal to 0 is 0 0.2704. Okay. Or you can do all these calculations. Just substitute those values over here. You can substitute all these values here. And you can easily get 1 minus 0 0.2. 2706 plus this is also same 0.2706 plus this we have just found out 
0.1804 plus this is 0 0.09, 0 0.0902. So solve this and when you will be solving this, you will be getting probability of x greater than x equal to 4 comes out to be 0 0.1431. And this is what we have to find out as the second one. Okay. So, thank you for watching this learning video. And I hope the recurrence relation and the problem on based on the recurrence relation is clear to you. So, thank you for watching and enjoy learning mathematics. Thank you.